Well, guys, you may be wondering, why am I on the managerial history of Roma? I just wanted to see which manager, and obviously the list of other managers that they've had. I just wanted to see, obviously I could have seen it anyway, but, you know, the managers before Ronald Koeman. Now, would they agree to do what Ronald Koeman has just done? And because they have agreed to sign Papadopoulos because me and him have had a very very big falling out because he's complaining to teammates that he was unhappy against the team talk against Bristol City now he's obviously also unhappy about being left out of the Champions League squad now he's unhappy with my harsh team talk against Bristol City you guys remember we played Bristol City in the in the Capital One Cup well we lost in the Carabao Cup and he wonders why I complained. And he wonders why I was harsh in my team talk. Out of context, Bristol City are a team in the championship. A, a league which we still have loaded. But I, I actually didn't think we did. But Bristol City, they, they will have a team full of new gens. Complete and utter new gens. New gens that we have never heard of. And, yeah, we lost in a penalty shootout to Bristol City. And Papadopoulos thinks I was harsh in my team talk. Well, you naughty, naughty boy. So he's going. He's off to Roma. And, thankfully, that is going to help with the finances a bit as well. It does now give me £57 million, which is very nice. And when that money does come in, it will help the overall balance as well. So very happy about that. But before that... We had the idea to change the tactic because I didn't realise Lionel Giggly, I'm going to call him now, was on the bench. We're at 1-1 against Brighton. I mean, playing OK. I mean, deservedly... I mean, we deserve to win, basically. Lionel Giggly comes on in the second half. I decide to swap to a 4-2-4. And he scores a second half hat-trick. Comes on and scores a hat-trick in his debut. And I'm thinking, awesome. We then try that 4-2-4 against Bristol City and it doesn't really work. And then we try it against Everton, and it somewhat worked, but we conceded in the last minute to give us a draw. But um, certainly, I would say it's progress, because a new tactic, in not so much a new look team, but um, yeah. But today, because of um, squad registrations, because of the Champions League, I have gone back to the 4-2-3-1. Now, I think this is what we're going to be doing, really, for... Probably the rest of this save now. Just swapping between these two tactics whenever we're playing a uh, like a lower league opposition, or when we're in the like Champions League, or obviously squad registrations, we'll do the four-two-three-one like we have been. So uh, there's that. Um, a few um, players are now wanted as well. Doria wanted by both Man United and Man City, so he's obviously hopefully not going to go. Immobile is still wanted, but now he's wanted by Newcastle, Roma, and by Leverkusen. Hello Luvik is not wanted and Lionel Giggly, of course, is not registered for the Champions League squad. But if I could change that, I most certainly would because he was incredible in that game. He also uh, set up a mobile in the uh, game against Bristol City. And um, I think he came on against Everton as well. Um, but that is mainly because Pato is injured and he's going to be injured for a bit. Um, Mane is also out as well. He came off against Everton. So... Um, there we go. Now, why is Doria not starting this game? Can I have a confirmation? He's tired, that's why. Poor baby's tired. Okay, cool. Let's get into this game against Club Bruges. Obviously, a very good result in our opening Champions League game. So, let's hope for more here. So, Forster in goal, Telefigo, Munoz, Subotic, and Vegeta at the back. Pogba, Goretzka, Sterling, Mayer, and Zahar in midfield. And Mitrovic leading the line up front. Of course, we've got Ward Prowse, Immobile on the bench. Why is Ward Prowse not playing? Is he tired as well? He is. He's barely played, so why is he tired? I genuinely do not know. I'm literally just answering my own questions right now. So, uh, there we go. Parker's not going insane yet. But uh, let's see uh, what this um, game brings us. I'm hoping for a win here. It is one of the eight games I did have down as a win. So, I'm certainly hoping we can achieve that. I mean, a draw for me, probably not acceptable. A win would be great. A win would really help us, because I think maximum, we can only hope to qualify in the um, the playoff bit. Uh, so if we finish 24th or above, I'd be fine with that. You know, first, team in the, first time in the Champions League. It, we have tough fixtures, some of them. Oh, Vegeta, and he scored. What a beautiful goal by Vegeta. Very well done, my friend. 
He's done better since uh, I swapped him up a bit as well. Uh, get him more attacking so he can get more crosses in. He can have more efforts on goal. And there you go. Job done. Well done, mate. A good start to the video. Uh, Munoz gives the ball away, but can we get it back? Not quite yet. Sterling still can't get it back. It's Schumacher. And there you go. Munoz has won the ball back. And Telefigo to Munoz. Back to Forster. Out to Telefigo. Telefigo to Sterling. What a beautiful... I was going to say what a beautiful ball. But it has made its way to Mitrovic. And Telefigo has got the ball back. See, uh, please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Okay, please shoot. There you go. Both my fullbacks have scored in the opening 15 minutes. Well, there you go. That's wonderful stuff. A cracking start. Come on. 2-0 up at Club Bruges. A very good start indeed. Very, very good. Like I said, this is one of the games we certainly need to win if we have any hope of qualifying. I mean, qualifying the top eight, I think, is a little bit out there. But certainly the league fa uh, the uh, playoffs, I certainly think is achievable. And Wilfred Zaha, uh, I think that ball is still rising as we speak. That was a um, interesting effort on goal, let's just say. We have a free kick, 33 minutes on the clock. And it is cleared. Now, Telefigo now. Hugo puts the ball in, it's a header, and it's just over there by Goretzka. I think you will be seeing the 4-2-4 against Swansea in the uh, next game. Uh, just so you can see, uh, I mean, you can see Giggly in action for the first time. Uh, Giggly was absolutely insane when he came on against Brighton. I kind of wish I showed you that now. But I'm trying to cut down on the length of the videos. Obviously, since I recorded the last one, I wouldn't have had any feedback because I'm obviously stacking these up. Because, yeah, I tend to do that kind of thing. Right, Adam Mayer with a free kick. Ooh. Okay, I was going to say, really have a go from there. I was a little bit surprised by that, but there we go. Fair enough, whatever. One a corner, which Goretzka will take. And it's cleared. Right, another free kick. Vegeta to Subotic. Across to Munoz. Telefigo. Taglafigo. Sterling. Pogba. Still with the ball. It's the Maya. Very interesting pass back. Pogba opens it up. And Zaha. Oh, that's a very good effort. And an even better save from the keeper. Fair play, man. Uh, Zaha, I would have said, I mean, from the shot he had, it was good, but he should have really done better. Pop up with a header. Oh, and it's cleared, and that was going wide anyway. Right. Um, not made any changes yet, have we? So, that's fine. Um, Luke Shaw not fit enough, really, to come on. Um, don't really need to make any changes yet, do we? Only 55 minutes on the clock, and there is yet another highlight here. Let's just hope, it, yet again, it's for us. Mitrovic gives the ball away to Carrasco. Esco puts it in, Telefigo with the interception there, gives it safely back to Forster. To For oh, that was risky, risky man. But Supertic safely with the ball now. Goretzka plays a 1-2 with Supertic. Vegeta now. Supertic across to Pogba. He's dropped back a little bit. Gets it across to Mitrovic. Puts a lovely ball into Zahar. What's Zahar going to do? He's lost the... Oh, he's offside for Christ's sake. Really? I mean, why would you even make that return pass, man? That is just stupid. That was just stupid. That was never. That's never going to be given, is it? Come on. Oh, good God. Oh. Pogba, back to Munoz. Over the top, Maya heads it on. Much better. Mitrovic now. Lost the ball, but Vegeta does have it. Is he going to have another go himself? He does. Oh, and he scores again. Oh, Vegeta, I love you. Again, maybe another player that goes on the PDE Hall of Fame. 
And when I say, when I confirm PDE Hall of Fame, I'm referring to an Excel spreadsheet that I have of regens in Football Manager who have just been insane for me and who I love dearly. Obviously, you will know who's probably top of it if you watched my FM21 save with uh, FC United of Manchester. Uh, let's bring a mobile on as well. But any like real players, like in-game players, no, I just don't see a point putting them on there. But, you know, regens that we'll probably never see the, again. Who knows? Oh, that was close there from Pogba, I think. I'm not, I'm not going to be bringing Luke Shaw on. Certainly not. Let's head it clear. It's Maya. There he is. Adam Maya finally on the score sheet. And it's 4-0 here now against Club Bruges. And this has been a very, very good performance. Very good team performance. Uh, I think maybe 4-0. I was... I'm thinking was a little bit um, okay. That's blown me away. Uh, right, we're now them. Come on, for mayor. But we do need to win these games. It's like I said. Coutinho with a free kick. It's it in. It's cleared, but Zaha will get to it. Zaha, very good ball out to Coutinho, who's on side. Is he going to have it go himself? Of course he is. It's Philip Coutinho and he scores. His debut goal for Stoke. Lovely stuff. And proving to me to be a very good acquisition. Look at that. Can we score again? Make it 6-0 in both of our opening league games. That'd be good. We've potentially got a chance here. Munoz to Supertich. <coughs> Excuse me. John Stones. Ward Prowse. Oh, 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 and it is. Jorginho went out him. He scored. And it is 6 0. Wow. Well, to say that um, that scoreline was on the cards, I think, is a little bit of an exaggeration, but. I mean, what an incredible performance. 6-0 win at Club Bruges. Incredible. 6-0 wins in both of our opening league league phase games in the Champions League. I don't think uh, many people would be able to say that, would they? Debut season in the Champions League as well. I mean, yeah, there have been two easy fixtures in a sense, but... It's just insane. Absolutely lovely. Right, let's go and play Swansea now. And uh, let's hope we don't have a hangover. ...for doing this, but I have... Decided to go for the 4-2-4 against Swansea because, uh, I, I don't know, I just I just feel like we need something else as well as the 4-2-3-1. Uh, so we need to build a bit of fa uh, familiarity. Oh, well done, Parks. Well done uh, for saying that correctly. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I've dropped Mitrovic to the bench, but of course he'll probably come on at some point. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's just go for it. So, uh, yeah, Sterling and Zahar on the wings, Pogba and Ward-Prowse in central midfield. I put him on a roaming playmaker instruction because he seems to be able to do that pretty well. So, let's see what we can do. So, Mobile being the target forward, which I think is a very good support. And, um, yeah, hopefully Giggly can add to his tally in the Prem. He actually won... Um, Young Player of the Month as well. And guess what he did? He dedicated it to me because he loves me, which is very, very nice indeed. So uh, that, again, confirms that he will definitely be going on the PDE Hall of Fame. Um, from memory, I think the top three in that PDE Hall of Fame are three players from the FC United of Manchester team from FM21. Um, I think it goes Luke Hume, of course, if you know, you know. And then Malango, who was my left back for God knows how long. And then uh, Johito, who was a, an incredible goalkeeper. The best goalkeeper I've ever had in Football Manager. By, uh, by far, maybe putting it a little bit too much. But probably the best goalkeeper... Well, the best goalkeeper I've had in FM20... In, in Football Manager, since I've been making videos on it. Uh, right, um, this is not a good start. Swansea with the ball. It's headed clear, but Telefigo is not going to get to that. But he does now, and he clears it. But Swansea have got the ball back, which is... This is not good. Blonan, oh, my good God, that had a bit of curl on it as well. Right, um, uh, there, there. encourage, encourage, come on. Uh, don't start now, Frank. We'll go down in a minute, okay? Oh, you're being a bit silly today. Right, Zaha. 
Uh, or oh, Giggly. Beautiful ball there for, to Vegeta. Can Vegeta put it in? Excuse me, dog. Right, Ward Prowse. I know. I know. Let's see if we can score a goal. Before you start barking, Giggly with the cross. Oh, look at that. He's got an assist already as well. Giggly lays it off for Paul Pogba, who scored a beautiful goal in that top right-hand corner. And we do finally take the lead over Swansea. I mean, it's been a slow start, I will admit. But this is what I was going for with this tactic. More shots on target. I mean, we did have three out of four. It's now three out of six. So there you go. I take it with a pinch of salt. Take it with a pinch of salt. But 1-0 at half time. Obviously, we'll take a lead. That is very good. Um, let's find another gear, though. That would be great. Go from 4-5 to five and then hopefully 5-6. to six. Uh, Williams to Paletta. Munoz does well there, although it gave me a little bit of heart failure. Right, Immobile, Giggly. Oh, beautiful turn there. Puts it out to Zahar on the right. Can Zahar give him a return pass? Can he get a cross in? Zahar, across, and it's cleared. Only his far... I mean, Sterling is not going to get to that. Pablo Hernandez, I believe, has a lot of pace on him. Oh, OK. OK, he left that. Fair enough. Can we win this ball back? I'm hoping we can. Munoz, cross to Vegeta. Ward Prowse, beautiful ball there. Oh, look at that. Gigi's on side. Giggly's on side as well. I'm I'm sure he please be on. Oh, he is. What a beautiful goal as well by Giggly. Ha, ha, ha. Come on. There's my Lionel Giggly. I knew he was worth it. I knew it. Right then. What we'll do now is swap these over and bring Mitrovic on. But as a winger. Oh, Sterling. Potential uh, other opportunity here before we uh, not sub him. Oh, I thought Immobile was going to get to that then. <coughs> Excuse me. Currently watching the um, Newcastle Brentford game as well, by the way. So my plan for the evening is obviously this is going to be this is recorded well in advance. So I'm going to finish recording this, go and have a shower, and then um, hopefully oh catch the um, second half of this uh, Newcastle Brentford game. Um, all while I get these, um, these last, this video and the last two uploaded and scheduled. Because I've recorded the last two videos the same day I'm recording this because I am a FM loving machine. Right, oh, GG, beautiful. On this right hand side, can he get a cross in? He go, ah, oh, beautiful pass to Pogba. Mitrovic to Talafigo. Beautiful effort and it's just over. We've played very well in these last in this last half an hour. We've played very well. We've had some I mean, yeah, we're a little bit still getting the ball off target and stuff, but you know, things are going fairly well. Things are going very well. Right, Goretzka needs to come on for Pogba as well. And maybe Luke Shaw is not actually on the bench, so that is not a possibility. Um I have also made a bid for another um young player, uh, young midfielder. Uh, which um, you won't, obviously won't see until January anyway. Um, there is interest from Manchester United as well, but um, they uh, haven't made a bid yet. Oh, oh, okay. I expected something. I expected something to go down then. Maybe GG. Uh, I keep saying GG. It's Giggly. Silly me. Right, Ward Prowse. Giggly. Lovely ball out to Sterling. Can he get the ball back to him? Can he get? Oh, look at that run he's made. Sterling. He's gone. Oh, is he? No. Oh, I don't know. I mean, is that... <coughs> is this going to be given? I mean, I think it was... I think the incident happened inside the box. So... Yep, this is... Right. Mitrovic. Let me... Uh, how is... Oh, he's only got... I mean, he's got... I mean, to be fair, I have not... I had no idea he had a finish in a 16. I honestly f completely forgot about that. Um, I, might, I mean, yeah, just give it to Mitrovic. If Mitrovic misses this, then Giggly's taking the next one. There you go. Giggly's taking the next one. Take the penalty again. <laughs> okay, so we lead 2-0. Giggly has an assist and a goal, so I'm pretty sure he'll get man of the match. Ronaldo now tries to put the ball over the top, but it's intercepted. Sterling now with the ball. 
on this right-hand side. He gets the ball in. Mitrovic with the header. And it is just wide. Uh, made all five subs. We're 2-0 up. This is looking much better. And yeah, we have had a slow start to the season. But, you know, a couple of wins. And we're right in there with the top four. So, um, you know... We're between tactics. I think this is a good thing because it gives us the opportunity to experiment a little bit more. But yeah, we're up to seventh. Yes, we've played a few games. You know, I mean, Newcastle have got two games in hand on us. But I wouldn't rule us out just yet. You know, obviously, Chelsea have played uh, eight games. They're, what, uh, seven points ahead of us. You never know. You never know with this game. You never know with this league what could happen. I'm hoping we can go on a nice winning streak. You know, we'll swap between the tactics. Keep things fresh. Keep things flowing really nicely and just go from there. I'm hoping we can do uh, do some damage. So what I wanted to do in the next video, um, I don't know if I'm going to be recording today at this point, um, but I really did want to show you the PSG and Newcastle game. I was thinking of showing you Arsenal, but uh, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. If it's going well against Arsenal, I'll come back in the in the game and show you it or show you part of it or whatever. Because I don't want this to drag on a bit because obviously we're getting towards the end of FM23 now and I'm really enjoying the save. And I think, you know, the viewership on it has gone, I would say, a lot better than expected. Certainly initially because the first video is closing in on 300 views at this point, which for me is very, very good. So very appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, but do I want to show you every single Champions League game? My, I mean, my first guess is probably no. But big team, PSG, really do want to show you that. But I also want to show you the Athletic of Madrid game as well. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to play, and we're going to do PSG for sure. Then we'll, I think we'll just skip the Newcastle and Villa games. And then just come back for Atletico Madrid in that next episode. So, hope you think that's a good idea. Um... But then after that, I'm thinking we won't play Malmo. But then we'll come back and play Valencia and United. And then, I mean, you'll see seven of the eight from... You'll see seven of the eight, uh, you know, minus Malmo. I think that's a good I think that's a good thing. And then what we'll do, when we play Valencia and Man United, we'll just do a zzz again. Hopefully this time we actually do it rather than get sidetracked by something else, which I honestly can't remember. But it was now in the uh, in last season. And then what we'll do here, we'll probably just have a three-game special. So there we go. But yeah, guys, certainly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please show your support by dropping a like. Subscribe if you happen to be new as well. And yeah, really do appreciate the support. And I will see you soon. Take care.